Some of you will just intuitively know this answer because you have a very good sense of how percentages work. Um, but percentages are just inherently tricky on the SAT. The way that our brain kind of understands percentages is very different from how they work in actual math. So um, this question may just seem totally crazy to you. Luckily, um, there's a formula that I use that will help center me on this. Anytime I, I have a question that is talking about an, a change in percentage, I use a version of the open formula. So the normal open formula is called that because it looks like the word open. It's when we're just normally taking a percentage of something, right? We have the O stands for the original, the P is the percentage as a decimal, and the N is the new. So those three letters together tell me how to work with a percentage. But when it's a change in percentage, an increase or a decrease, I use a slightly modified version of this where instead of P being just kind of on its own, it now gets mixed up in this little parentheses piece. It's the original value times one plus or minus P, depending on whether it's an increase or a decrease, and that gives us our new value. So in this case, here's how I'm gonna handle this just to really clarify it. They're talking about city A increasing in population from 2015 to 2016. So I'm gonna call 2015X and 2016Y so that I can kind of separate them and, and think of them as two separate things. So X then is my original. That's my original value at 2015, so that's going to go in place of the O. And the Y is the new value. After a year has passed, the percentage has increased. What do I have? Now, because it's an increase, it's going to be a 1 plus in parentheses. And uh, the P is always going to be written as a decimal in this formula. So when they say 7%, we have to convert that, right? 7% as a decimal is 0 0.07, right? We move the decimal place two units to the left. So 0 0.07. And now if we just kind of clean this up, we end up getting the answer. So 1 plus 0 0.07 is 1.07. So times x is equal to y. And what do they want? Look at the question. If the 2016 population, so that's y, is k times the 2015 population, that's x, what is the value of k? So they're just saying that y is equal to x times k. So k is 1.07. That is very standard for how percentages are going to get, you know, worked into SAT questions, and it's a little different than how we talk about them, right? I mean, this is a good example of that. The question is talking about it as a 7% increase. And yet, through mathematics, that kind of gets twisted into this, well, multiplying by 1.07. For some of you, again, this is very intuitive and, and understandable. But for those of you who are, are struggling with this, the open formula is your way of kind of bridging this gap and trying to understand percentages mathematically the same way that we understand them when they're just talked at us, right? So this formula lets us kind of convert. And it is very useful for times when we were, you know, when we're given the population of this city at 2015 or 2016. And then we can use the formula to calculate the other pieces. Um, but it's a good starting point for understanding this conversion. And just remember, there's two different versions of the formula. This is when we want the percent of something. This is when there's an increase or decrease. So we have to know based on the situation, but luckily the story will always make it very, very clear. They use the word increase, so that's why I use that one plus or minus P formula. And with more experience, you can kind of get used to moving between the formulas, moving from the story to the equation, and solving these things confidently.